the kill right there. Tralfy, a.k.a. Tralf Midor, ends up getting up, getting the kill on the Soul Reaper. So I, I'm not sure how much would have been missed, unfortunately, because of the downtime. But uh, I, as far as just a quick recap, obviously it's a 5-2 to two hero kill lead for Lion Esports Club. They've been playing very mobile here. As far as moving around, setting up kills, Hanskin has done a great job of that. 1-0-3 oh, has got a couple of Wild Hunter camps, definitely helped with that. Uh, top lane keeper tried to root to go for a turn kill, in the end he got taken out, so... Zai, and actually speaking of keeper, he once again might be in some trouble. He does have the root once again. But the Wild Hunter Parasite, it's like rinse and repeat here. Gonna be coming in, give it the force to get some damage. Leech comes out, the dust gonna be used. Here comes the root, he's gonna go for the TP. Face off comes out though. The bat blast, oh it's not enough damage though. They went all in right there for the kill. But Zai's able to get away, they did not have another stun. And that proved to be enough to live right there. In favor of, uh, in favor of Zai. So now PB will not have that bat blast for another 110 seconds here. Push this top tower. Knocking on the door, seeing if he can make at least a push happen, but Keeper already sends the animated trees back in. And he's making his way up there, so probably not gonna be a tower killer just yet. Good pressure coming out. 350 gold per minute on Tralfmador, so as I was questioning, is uh, what we're going to be seeing as far as items go, specifically on Soul Reaper. We got the Ring of Sorcery again. This is a team that's definitely going to feed off of Ring of Sorceries, the Astrolabe. You know, really team fight items looking to push earlier on. I'm intrigued to see where Soul Reaper goes with that. Maybe something like the Sackstone. Maybe even the quick Barrier Idol, actually. And now I'm thinking about it, Barrier Idol might be the more effective route for him against the Cellborn team. Still uh, have to wait a little bit to determine though, because we are 12 minutes in. I want to make a point in the stream chat real quickly. I think something... Sorry about that, guys. I just want to make a point in the chat of what's going on. Oh! oh no. Missed to kill the bottom lane. Lodestone and Parasite looks like they combo for the kill. Trough just got caught out of position right there. Pushing up a little bit too far. Actually buys a Neophytes book here. That could be one of many options. Not going to be the barrier at all or the Sackstone, though. Middle lane, Combination Master of Arms takes the Kex, gets the eruption off in time. Deep in the Master's Call going to be used though. Will he be able to survive this? In comes the help. Nice Skeleton King Net right there to wretch you to hack. She tried to blink in. Master of Arms will love though, and they get the counter kill on a Peter Pan Dam. So, in the end, Peter gets cleaned up on Ophelia. And now we see uh, they're going to have to fall back on Team USA side. So, good good try for the kill, but the Legion takes Master down of Arms able to take tower. a little too much. Sai though, doing his thing, pushes the top lane. Gets the easy tower kill up there, 372 gold per minute currently. Energizer just finished on Master Varn, speaking of surviving right there. Uh, gives him time to get that at least. Wow, we should actually get some good damage from Keeper right here. He needs to, yeah, I was going to say, he underestimated the damage big time! Wow! <laughs> Pee Wee falls, that was a big time mistake by Pee Wee right there. Zai's like, what are you doing? <laughs> I'll just beat you down, that's fine with me. He has that, uh, the Ent Moon only level 1, but <laughs> more than enough damage to get the job done. I was definitely wondering what was, what was Hag thinking? What was PB thinking? Unfortunately, he falls, so big kill. Zai! Zai doing some big plays here for his team. Another 2,000 gold saved up. All of a sudden, he has 405 gold per minute. He's the top farmer in the game. This is the Keeper of the Force that got ganked early on at the top lane. I mean, he was, he was doing great, though, all throughout the, all throughout the early game stage. And it is going to be the Life Brand purchase on uh, on Trouth playing the Soul Reaper. So he's going to go more of that greedy route to an extent of uh, farming tool. At the same time, though, 15% more damage once he gets the Grimoire is always a nice thing as well. <laughs> so again, it's not a bad pickup by any means. It's more of a case, it's a case though, of it, with that item choice, it probably means they're not going to be looking to group up and push as soon as possible. 
Which isn't the worst thing in the world. But now, if you're the Hellborn side, maybe try to take advantage of that, of setting up those ganks and continuing to do so. Soul Reaper, definitely a target that you want. You see Wretched Hag, he's lined up, but... Master of Arms and Pyromancer, they're busy doing Ancients in the meantime. So I don't think any Congor kills going to be happening right here. Going anywhere. Still waiting for the stream to come back up. I believe it should be coming up now in the next minute here, so... Going with the delay, it's hard to... Get that, but... Trying to make sure. Middle lane. Here comes the push from the Legion team. It is going to be an easy tower kill in the end. Down a tower. You with going that style, not that they couldn't do it, but they got the. They, they, even, they don't even have an Astrolabe yet. They just simply really have a ring of sorcery as far as the team fight on it, but you got the mass minions coming out here. Look at the Vulture Lord as well. The tornado going to be used in the background. Okay, it looks like the stream is coming back up, so that's good. And middle tower now dropping. So Lion Esports Club. But again, no Astrolabe just yet. They're on the Legion side, so we'll see if Lions can kind of make them pay for this. Master of Arms back up base the Power Master. They're regenerating. They're not even going to be able to make this in time. They use the invulnerability already. They're trying to delay it as much as possible here. By time for Master and Power Master to come in. Here we see a port. Is Team USA going to commit to this? This could be a little bit of an overstep right here if they're not careful. Keep it the force bonds. He's right next to the he's right next to the river though. Root comes out. Keep it the force. Gonna be locked down. Parasite gets locked in as well though. Deep in the master call. Not enough. Keep it the force still taking the damage. They're going for him. Lone Stone comes up with that shadow storm. And down goes Keeper as well. Soul Reaper. And now Ophelia's gonna end up falling most likely. Or will she? She is still on the run. Meanwhile, up here, Master of Arms cleans up. It looks like he gets the kill. On to uh on to Magnus up there. Engineer ends up being the only survivor. And they might even dive. No, he's going to be fine with that. That's what I was worried about for Team USA. They went a little too far right there, a little too deep. They did not have those big support items. Just, I guess Astrolabe was just delivered to Ophelia. But uh, they went a little too deep right there. And in the end, good positioning by Lions. Even with the good root start by TT Esports, oh, by Team USA. Uh, Lion Esports Club was able to clean them up in the end. So, well played. Good Shatterstar. I'm sure the Bat Blast lined up pretty well too. I actually didn't catch that necessarily, but... And Esports Club wins that fight. That was a big fight to be won. They also keep the tower alive. It's actually just at an eye range here. Go ahead and take a subscriber chat off. So it looks like the uh, stream should be good now. Yeah, apologize for that. Like I said, I believe it was on Twitter's side. I prefer that they've actually been having some issues today. I know, I know there's some big event that's starting this weekend. Not going to say what. But there is some massive event starting this weekend. So maybe it has something to do with that. I don't know. Anyways, it should be good now. So hopefully everything's on track here. Um, Alright, so bottom line. Uh oh, Trout, if he, keeps, if he keeps pushing, here we go. He's going to be gone on again. He has that light brand pick up. Not as tanky as he could be. And Trout's going to easily fall. No matter what he had right there, probably dead anyways. It's a massacre. Let's, let's go back to the pick a little bit. I'm wondering about what he's going to go for. Top lane engineer, that's just an illusion right there. And actually, Keeper denied the tower, it looks like. So, ends up being a good play from Zai. Zai, again, he's, he's doing what he can for his team here. Keep them in it. Porter key picked up by Magmus. So the Swagmus able to get that now. 3,000 more gold saved up on Keeper. I think that barrier rattle proved to be pretty important here for them. There you got the Astrolabe on Ophelia. And it looks like Soul Reaper is going to be going into that Grimmark and more of that gritty build here. Corruption coming out for Magmus to take out as many Ancients as possible. And with Volcanic Touch helping. He's got his Portakeas ready, but now wants to... His next tier of item with a Sheep Stick. We've seen Grim Warrior even. He was shrunk ahead. Let's see where Mr. B Kid decides to go here. Wretched Axe, speaking of Grim War. A little more obvious on him, and he is getting closer to that. Has the Blessed Orb and the Light Brand, so... Grim War coming along pretty nice here for Peewee, so he had the mistake earlier on as against Keeper of the Forest. <laughs> And, but recovering just nicely. It's now at 415 gold per minute here.
Parasite, level 1 Codex? Yeah, level 1 Codex and Parasite. Top lane, keeping the force, actually. He's gonna be gone on. Shatterstorm activates the Shatterstorm. Lowstone activates the Shatterstorm. <laughs> Keeper, though, Nature's Villain, and quickly gets away. Did they didn't have dust there? I don't know why they were thinking that was gonna be a good idea without dust. Either that was miscommunication, or... Okay, they had a Rev Ward over here, so... So they had a Rev Ward on Pyromancer, it looks like, but... Keeper just played it smart, went the other way. Easily survives right there. Acid goes down for Master the of Bones. Down down like ages. There you go, Keeper against Zai. Doing what he can. Picks off the middle tower. Behind enemy lines. By himself. A good gold boost for the team. That tower was just added in Iron Range from before. Hag has her Grimoire finished. Sorryper is getting closer now. Has Blessed Orb now, I believe. And they are going to group up once again. Into the tower they go. All five are here. Hellborn team. Goo is down from Master. He's got power coming out of Parasite. Port's coming in. They want to defend this, but I don't know if they're going to get there in time. Tower's going to end up falling tonight, maybe. Nope, not going to be denied. Right back joins it. Parasite takes over the Minotaur. Here we go. Energizer going to be activated. Not going to be able to catch them, though. Or will they? Lodestone. He has a Shatterstorm, but... Not gonna go in. They're chasing. Now they are. Lowstar jumps in right here. Give it the fourth target of choice. They cannot see him though. Nature's Veil. Never mind. They could definitely see him now. He's gonna be ported out actually. And there he goes. So he just holds his ground knowing that he was gonna be fine. Distracting if anything. Ratchet Axe still going though. And uh oh. Peter Van Dam did not think they would continue to chase. Rocket Trail's gonna hit. And Peter Van Dam should end up falling right here. Maybe Astral He has a Phineas touch. But that Bat Blast comes out to wipe him up. Also gonna kill the creeps right here. As Parasite even takes everyone to finish it off. So, good catch on a Peter at least. Playing the Ophelia and maybe Congor. I mean, Ophelia's down. They do have a root still. They have they have pretty much every ultimate. So it would be a little bit of a risk. That's not the best Congor killing team. Here on the uh, here on the Hellborn side. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Wow, Zai already almost has a Restoration Stone. Sustainer Arcana just purchased. Or Sustainer just purchased, he had Arcana. Now he's probably 390 gold per minute. Grimoire is finished on Trouf here. Playing the Soul Reaper. As I say that, Caster's Curse coming into play. Loso chasing, Shatterstorm, Rocket Trail, there's a Rocket Trail, there's a Shatterstorm. In comes Parasite, and that's an easy kill. On a Soul Raper. Soul Raper pushing up a little too far by himself. You look at the vision. I mean, there's no vision up here. So the fact that a hero with very basically no escape mechanism is up there at the top lane trying to push it. And it's getting greedy for resources. Yeah, Mine Esports Club takes advantage. Restoration Stone is finished on Keeper. So <laughs> they do have that. They have a couple Ring of Teachers here, by the way. Ophelia and Sorry for have one. Not the biggest in the world, but especially for split pushing. Worth noting. Yeah, I think this lack of bigger support items, though, is kind of hurting them a little bit. No Barrier Idol. I think the Soul's Bulwark at this rate could even be decent here for the Legion team. And on top of that, also, they're not really... I mean, they do have five tower kills at 23 and a half minutes. So it's hard to say. I, I just feel like they haven't really been... But that goes back to the build on Soul Reaper. It really does. I mean, if he went for more of that early on Astral Lay, maybe even the earlier on Shaman's Headdress into the Barrier Idol, and that would make the point, yeah, we're here. We're going to be pushing early on, trying to take advantage of that. But uh, they went for a different style, more of the farming route in Soul Reaper, and kind of split pushing. Lion Esports Club has responded to it pretty damn well. Magmus has that portal key tablet here. So that's the answer. Beacon follows up with the portal key with the tablet command. Kind of restoration stone already keeper. 24 minutes in. Steam boots, ring of sorcery, restoration stone. So you have a double root now. Do they even have ways to get out of this? I mean, there's no shrunken heads, let alone geometer spin here on the Hellborn side. It looks like shrunken heads gonna be finished soon on Master. But the fact that he has a double root now kind of kind of sucks. If you're uh, if you're Lion Esports Club, thinking about that. Bottom tower gonna be pushed in. See the top secondary oh, tower. Sai gonna distract up here. Tower. Sorry for joining him. So Lion Esports Club, will they fall back? Will they fall back? 
Doesn't look like it. This is going to be a free tower the kill. Understandable. Again, tower. it's a very strong push team here. Good, good team fight. Especially with that double ulti now. So they're going to try to put as much pressure as possible. But the base, different story. You got to get back for that. It looks like Lion Esports Club is going to do that. We'll see what they can make happen here. Goo goes down. Skull's getting in the front lines. Peter's going to harass with that a little bit. The Hellborn takes down a Legion Tower. Somebody, but man, ends up just falling, really. They get the bottom tower kill. And now they pour it in. So Lion's trying to maximize here. They get the bottom tower kill. Sticking around a little bit longer. Trying to clear up now. Minotaur on the front line is going to be picked off. That should be the end of that push. I mean, there's a cyclone here in the background for the Vulture Lord, but that's finally going to be stopped. And yeah, Lions will hold it off. I'm pretty happy if I'm Lions there. I mean, even Wretched Hack, Pee Wee just continued to farm in the Legion jungle. So the fact that they saved their base tower, got another secondary tower kill, and continue to farm with Wretched Hack, who's even now pushing back up the bottom lane. She has another 3,400 gold all of a sudden. So that shrunken head on her is also going to be coming out here. Pretty shortly. Codex being upgraded. Hanskin has a level 2, level 3 Codex now going to be delivered. There you go. Sorry, for 2,000 gold saved up. Intrigued to see where Trough goes next here. He's going to try to rush and do the, something like that sheep stick. Dare I say Frostfield plate? Dare I? Still think a barrier idol could be pretty useful here on the Legion team. Barbed armor finish on Lodestone. There's the Shrunken Head purchase on Wretched Hack. Oh, Magma spots them with an invis. This could be danger for Parasite. He has dust on it, but obviously he has no clue. Ooh, the phase effect can help. Will Magma get the stun off? Yeah, he will. Easy stun right there. Kex on a follow. And Parasite can easily be killed. Good pick off from Team USA right there. Take advantage of the invis. And actually, hasted Wretched Hack. Charging in right here. They're trying to get Ophelia, but nice Minotaur stun. On to the offensive map, Skull Lowstone, now they're being locked down, gonna go for the TP. Lowstone activates the Shadow he jumps in with the Rocket Shell. The eruption off from Magma, so here comes the support. Pyromancer gets caught though. Barb Darmer is up, but Pyromancer falls, and now Lowstone's gonna end up dropping. Wretched Act blinked in, trying to finish on Magma, but at what cost? The second room comes out, and now Wretched Act, she blinks away. Will she get away? No, the tourist saw it doing enough. Is it gonna be enough at the end? No, it's not. She finally gets away. Wow. Big turnaround by Team USA. Ends up being three kills in total, including the Parasite that happened uh, to begin all that. So, greedy play there from Team from Lion Esports Club. Definitely hurts. The fact that Wretched Hacks are fived. Big, big news. Now, they did get a double root used out of that. That's true. Pretty much, well, every ultimate was used in the end by Team USA. So, that's where Lions can look at and say they have a little bit more of a window now to make things happen. For the next 80 seconds or so. Keeper with that rest of stone already picked up. He already has another 2600 gold saved up now. Clean up in the jungle here. Nature's Vale applied. Parasite and Pyromancer are running in. No blazing strike on Pyro. The dust, it does spot Keeper, but he's a little too far away, or is he? Fireman is trying to get in here. No portal on Keeper. Can he land the Dragon Stun? Can he land the Dragon Far? Yes, he can. In comes a face hug. Master of Arms to follow. And Parasite with a Codex. Easy kill on to Zai. So, good chase from Line Esports Club. The dust it shows you how. This shows you the range of it. I mean, he used the dust over here, and it caught Keeper, who was about here. So, good. Nearly 1600 range, really. Which range does it say? 1250 is the radius, so I guess it wasn't that much, but still. Seemed like it was damn far away. That must have been pretty much max distance. Master of Arms. Can't forget about uh, Super KG. I think Pee-wee's the carry, you know, playing the hack here in the short lane from the beginning, but Master of Arms is also building a little bit of uh, that uh, being able to stand strong in these fights build. Question, I mean, you could say maybe you should have gone more for that support style, maybe something like the tablet with the Energizer. Probably for like a sheep stick, but um, at the same time, having him bust up more damage for you on top of the Wretched Hag, not a bad option either. Watch your so this build, though, allows him to obviously what's been uh, an aggressive start at first in terms of getting involved with a shrunken head. Makes sense where he goes from here is a question now. 2,400 gold more saved up on Hag. <gasps> 
Keeper buys a Mighty Blade. Interesting. Is he going Brutalizer? Are we going to see Zai go for the Carry Keeper here? You know, I... I I'm not going to say I, like, absolutely love it, but it, it, it kind of, you know, it does kind of make sense. I mean, there's no physical threat here on the Legion side at all. I mean, Soul Reaper's not a hero that even gets to that point in the later stage. You build him as basically that intellect tank, of course, so. That's where you could kind of say, okay, maybe get the Brutalizer. I will say he doesn't really have the most attack speed. I mean, the Restoration Stone gives him a little bit, but, and as well as the Steam Boots, so the end mood also helps. But, uh... Would like to maybe see a demonic breastplate before that even. The souls, I think the souls would actually be pretty good here still for this team. Also the barrier out of me. Honestly, a little surprised they don't have that. Talbot, by the way, on the Soul Reaper, so he kind of goes for more team there, team fight there. He has a mighty blade now picked up himself. Probably going to be a short now, which is definitely going to be good. Let's see on him. Hag top lane, gonna blink away before she gets jumped. It's just really a sword pushing and though it actually Master and Parasite nearby takes over the Skeleton King right there. As Ophelia was trying to scout things out, but that's the problem with going up against a Parasite as Ophelia. Scout out with one of your minions, and before you know it, it becomes Parasite. No more for you. Bottom lane, Zai keeping the pressure up, pushing down here. Obviously, I got focused on that Brutalizer. Definitely a Shrunken Head is possible to on Keeper. I don't know how I would feel about a Shrunken Head though on Keeper. It just, it seems like kind of an odd pickup on a Keeper of the Forest. You know, he's definitely all about that double root and doesn't necessarily have the most difficult time getting that off. But it will allow him to get a better time, that's for sure. And having the Restoration Stone can double Shrunken Head even. This right, it looks like that might be what he's going for. Unless he's going Frosto Skull. Something else I'm just obviously blanking on. Richard Hag, 4,200 gold now in PV, so he's getting closer and closer to that next big item. And I think, you know, some good physical threat here to assist with the Master of Arms could be a good option. Something like, honestly, a Savage or Geometer's Mate, actually. I think would it be a bad option here for Wretched Ag. Top play, they're gonna lock down Sorry for again. Finds himself out of position up here. He's clearly trying to TP away. Maybe he was even going for a kill. I'm not even exactly sure. Obviously caught that kind of halfway through. But double damage Master of Arms happens to be there. Parasite there as well. And in the end, Sorry for goes down. So fifth death of Sorry for there. Lowstone activates the Shadow Storm, but unfortunately, uh, Engineer had already fallen back, so. Decides to use it on the ancients right there. Geometer's you know, being though a set of wretched hag, you know, went for another escape mechanism out of that route. As well as uh, maybe help with that right click presence a little bit. 5,000 gold now saved up for Pee Wee. 3,900 on a Master of Arms, so we're going to see some some big items coming out here on the Hellborn side, and got to figure maybe that's going to be a cue to make something happen. Although, I don't I don't think they're in a rush, either. There's the Geometer's Bane by PB. So, yeah, how's the Shrunken and Geometer's Bane now? To get out of Keeper of the Forest double root. A lot of ways to be mobile. Refreshing ornament on Ophelia, so I think that means the barrier auto is finally going to be coming here for Team USA. But again, you got to kind of wonder: is, will it be too late by the time they get those bigger items? That's, this is a team that could have and had potential to possibly shine here in the earlier stages because of how it's played out and maybe some item choices and they've developed more into the mid to now even the later game stage here. And was that a Shrunken just finished on Soul Reaper? Yes, it was. Shrunken head being delivered to Soul Reaper. Magnus at the top line and takes the pressure here. But he's going to be more than fine. Easy tablets away. Level 20 Pee Wee, by the way, too. It's two levels higher than Soul Reaper here. 
to the XPM chart. Leading the way. Lowstone also, he's kind of been doing his thing. I almost said quietly, but Lowstone's hardly a quiet hero. <laughs> Ever. It's 5, 2, and 5 here. He's farming 350 gold per minute, level 17 on top of that. He has another 3,000 gold saved up. Let's see if he can save up for maybe something like that. Sheeps to come up. Do they have a Soul's Bower yet, actually? Uh, they don't have one. I mean, not a whole lot of physical threat on the Legion side. It ends up being a Shrunken Head, by the way, a Keeper. But, uh... Could help your side a lot, so... Actually... A Soul's Bower into a... Even a Demonic could be a good, a good option here for Lowstone. There's always the Sheepstick route as well, something like that. Speaking of that, actually, kind of would like to see a sheep, uh, possibly even a storm spirit over here on the Legion side. Something like that, I'm to get a storm spirit. After the bear, I don't maybe a little bit more priority, but maybe that's what engineer. No, because the tablet actually. That's what the third tablet. Jeez, three tablets over here on Team USA. They want to be able to push away for sure. Top tower, gonna fall down, or is it? Team USA, they want to defend this. They use a vulnerability and they get lined to fall back, you know. All five are kind of there, you see here in the middle lane. Those the ones pushing the middle lane himself. He's gonna fall back before too much happens. And now Power Man's here. Actually gonna push out the bottom lane. So it's a good movement here from Line Esports Club coming out. Top flat, ooh, Wretched Egg catches Soul Reaper, but not gonna really go for it. Master, 5,200 gold. What is it going to be, Master? What is it going to be? I wouldn't be surprised to see something like a Sheepstick, honestly. It's either that, or it's probably going to be something like that Savage Mace. Although, Geometer's for him, too, actually. <laughs> you know, probably set up for Hag, and sure enough, she would. I think Geometer's also for Master of Arms. Why not? Have another escape mechanism out of the Keeper route. Definitely help your DPS out quite a bit, especially being agility already. He's going to port back right here, so we'll see, maybe. Oh, top lane. Engineer being chased down by Parasite. Oh, the tablet's going to end up saving him. The Ophelia's Touch also came out as a just-in-case. Double damage hack that push in the middle lane in the meantime. You see it up here at Team USA going for a little bit of a push, but starting to port back now. And that'll be enough. Keeper's still going to push, but the rest have already fallen back for Team USA. So Engineer, though, Leon Black able to get away before he gets picked off. Master does go the... Uh Go those does go the blessed orb. I believe he would have enough for the jump has been already, but I guess it is a 38 minutes in here. Maybe five axes being thought of. Could also be the sheep stick. Again, that wouldn't be out of the question here, but I mean. Another 2,000 gold on keeper. That shrunken head still think that's a little bit funky of a pickup for a keeper of the forest here, but. So now he goes. I think it's getting to the point now. I mean, demonic or a soul's bulwark. The fact that neither team has a soul's bulwark yet is still a little bit shocking. I think the Legion team definitely could use one a lot more, though. I mean, they do have an abyssal skull on Ophelia, which is nice to see for them. But uh, yeah, there's definitely no soul's bulwark over there. Sheepstick on Magmus, by the way. D Kid, as always, doing his thing quietly but surely. 345 gold per minute. Middle lane, Lions pressuring it. Lions play this very, you know, back and forth. They're just saying Bellboard they're pressuring towers, falling back tower. when Team USA responds, and then once they start spreading out, they go back in. So they're really keeping Team USA on their toes here. And it's gonna happen at the top lane as well. Easy Bellboard top tower kills. Which all of a sudden Lions gets two tower kills just like that. And here we go. With uh with pushing into the base now. Nope, nope, never, never mind, I gotta fall back. Decided to fall back before. It's 5,100 more gold on... Okay, it is going to be the Geometer's Man. Yep, he's sitting now at 2,100 after he buys the Geometer's Man there. No barrier out on Ophelia. He actually bought a Mighty Blade there. Is he too going for a Shrunken? No. What else could you possibly go for a Mighty... Okay, no, there is a Shaman's Headdress in the main. Maybe that was just a miss buy. Actually, there is a makings of a Shaman's Headdress on there, so... 
assume that's what it's going to be, a barrier idol. That's, that, that's a lot better to see <laughs> for them. Ancient stack. Clean up here by Lion Esports Club. Peewee getting the majority of it, of course. This farm, 570 plus GPM. Now for the 580, actually. Another 5,600 gold saved up. Holy crap! This gold just keeps getting higher and higher on both sides. Not a whole lot of fights going on, obviously. What is he getting? 5,700 gold, going back to base. Savage Mace. I've been pretty good at guessing so far. I say so myself. Savage Mace. Ooh, he's going to Sheep's Take. Okay. That definitely makes more sense, actually, to think about it. Um, they got a good amount of physical threat already. Master Farms top lane. Ooh, he gets away. He was sheeped right there. I thought they were going to be able to chase, but just a little bit too far away in the end was the support. And so Masters will survive. That's a good getaway. But uh, going back to that, the sheep stick out. And obviously the sheep stick benefit there. Get the good lock in early on onto the hag, or onto the uh, soul reaper even, before she can activate the shrunken head. And get a quick kill onto him. So, ooh, wretched egg blinking away before Magma stunts in. So, good pick up there by hag. 3100 gold on master. So it seems like we're just going to continue to be at this rate of... Alright, let's guess which next item's gonna be. <laughs> let's guess what the next item's gonna be now. And now. And now. Forty-one hundred gold on Sora for another thirty-seven hundred on Keeper. They do have the barrier item now here. On Ophelia. I think I think Keeper demonic breastplate wouldn't be out of the question. Oop, here comes Wild Hunter Parasite, gonna scout things out, needs to be careful. They have vision, no. Actually, portal keys away. For I say it's level five codex. Yeah, level five codex has the portal key. Yeah, it's good, just getting information really for his team right there. But here goes Conger in the meantime. My Esports Club. This is gonna be a free Conger kill. There's no vision here by Team USA. I don't think they have a clue. Yeah, this is just more of a case of them not knowing. I mean, they definitely could fight at Conger. But they just have no clue. They are pushing the Conger top lane. Maybe just realizing down. too late. Conger goes down. Wretched Hag now has a token of life. Team USA, this would be a dangerous push here now, especially with that. So they, I mean, they're going to need to continue to play the passive game. And again, this is a team that screams push from the very beginning. In the early game stage even, but it just hasn't happened enough. So Team USA now falling back. We're going to rely on the big team fights coming out. Being able to outlast, which most likely they definitely have that potential. <laughs> Between Ophelia, Soul Reaper, Double Root going to be coming out. But uh, honestly, I'm like Elias. Chances a lot more now. 43 minutes in, 12,000 goalie, 19,000 experience lead. Pee Wee buys the post haste, using all his money right there. 3,900 gold on Master of Arms, so he too is saving up more. I would. Definitely can see a Savage Mace on him here. Acolyte Staff on Lodestone. Let's see if it'll be delivered. Yep, Sheep Stick on Lodestone also. <laughs> Man, some big, big pickups coming. Oh, whoa, we have a big fight down here. I apologize for that one. We got the initiation. Double Root going to be coming out. Wretched Hag, that's an illusion right there. The real one's over here. No, that's an illusion as well. The real one already dead. Going to be coming back up. As Lodestone is in a lot of trouble. Wretched Hag, she comes back up. But now she needs to blink away. Three players fall. We got two dead on the Legion side. We have Magmus and Engineer dead over there. I, uh, that was all me. I apologize, guys. That was horrible by me. As far as camera work goes. I had a quick distraction there. But uh, in the end, you see the big picture. Token life was used on Wretched Hag. Keeper of the Forest did use a double root, but during all that, Master of Arms was not there. I don't even think he used Master's Call, actually. I know it's a short cooldown, but I think it would have been on cooldown. So that was a big, big fight by Team USA. They have the more coming on top. Keeper of the Forest, he's going to push the top lane by himself. He's going to try to 
Get it killed. Trees. Oh, not going to happen. So close right there. And actually now Keeper might be in a little bit of trouble. Wretched actually going to come off there. It's a sheep stick. And size in trouble. Probably going to be bursted out right here. There is no bat blast. So maybe not actually. They don't have vision. Oh, that's brutal. No vision on either of those two heroes. So Keeper of the Force is able to, is able to get away. And he's going to be fine. Aya, take time. There we are. That was big though for Team USA. I mean, a decent fight right there, at least taking out the token of life. But again, big picture. I still think Lion Esports Club, the chances is looking pretty good. You got Master of Arms, he's gonna have that next tier of item coming up here shortly. There's a demonic on Keeper, so end up getting a full demonic here. And didn't have a soul's fork for the longest time, but they do have a full demonic now. Soul Reaper got a sheep stick himself. GPM wise, Wretched Axe still continues to be way on top here. 607 gold per minute here. E2 has another 3,200 gold saved up. Any buybacks used, by the way? No, no buybacks were used that last fight. Not happening right there. Got Lowstone moving around towards the top, and who's this up here? It's Keeper of the Forge. Do they have vision? Yes, they do. Sheepstick. The dust comes out. Keeper in trouble. He gets the shrunken head up, though. That's why he got it. In comes the root. The support from Ophelia. And actually, Keeper of the Forge is going to live. Question the Shrunken Head pickup. Well, it kept him alive right there. That's for sure. Energy field going to come down. This is a turnaround chance. In a nice size uh, stun there from Magus. Bat Blast will turn. Soda Screen comes out. Dango's Engineer. And the chase continues here by the Hellboard team. Off to the side, Master of Arms. He takes a sheep stick. But down goes Ophelia. Demonic execution was used. Not there. It's used to actually get that kill on the Wretched Hag. Big, big demonic execution. That shrunken head on Sorry for doing a lot of work right here. Able to hold his ground, but it wears off right there. He gets shipped, and down goes Soul Reaper. Magma stuns him. Loso trying to get away. Parasite's still here from behind. He has a codex. Going to use the codex, but Loso already falls. And now Parasite overstaying his walk, and Magma comes back in. No buybacks used throughout all this. Team USA just won the fight fair and square right there. You see Master of Arms, he ports back to base barely. But wow, that was well played by Team USA once again. I think Line Esports Club, you know, that, that all started with Zai, the shrunken head on Keeper of the Forest. <laughs> if it wasn't for that, he would most likely be dead. He's able to get away and buy the time for his team to come in, set up their initiation, and we saw what could happen. Soul Reaper also really stood his ground strong in that fight. And I think Master of Arms also, the positioning too wasn't the best from Lions. They were kind of split, uh, spread out. Master of Arms was down here. Trying to flank where the rest of his team is more so up here, so. And he got sheeped early on in that fight, so. He does have a Savage Mace now, which he buys going into this. Now, that means he doesn't have a buyback currently. But he does have a Savage Mace, so a lot of damage is going to be coming out for Master of Arms now. Watch your eyes. Team USA continuing to benefit as a team here. Just see on Hag. Oh, just saw Glowstone on Soul Reaper. Staff of the Master. Yeah. They, what does it do exactly? Lowers the cooldown at 70 seconds. Wait, what? Two 70 seconds. It's already 70 seconds. I don't get it. What? Oh, at all levels. So that's for the earlier levels only, but. Increases magic damage from 90% of the targets to 120%. So yeah, basically, once they're even if they're just above half life, it can still kill them in terms of magic damage. It's possibly going to be going for that. Oh, skeleton king! Oh, that was interesting. Next is the skeleton king with a sheep stick right there and takes the double damage rune for a wretched hag. He didn't rebuy shrunken now. Oh, we got a blessed aura pick. Of that. That's what it was. 27 more hundred gold on top of that now. Master of Arms getting comfortable once again of having a buyback here after getting the Savage Maze. So, again, though, these last couple of fights, uh, Team USA. Team USA has definitely been able to come out top, maybe slightly, but they come out on top. 
in the end. The team fight just a little bit stronger. So it really comes down to focus firing here for Lion Esports Club and picking and choosing those fights, really. Brutalizer is on Keeper of the Forest. So he didn't get it before, but he has it now. And I love it here. Keeper is a genuine threat. As far I mean, we talk about all the time how Keeper, he's he's a walking root. That's all he is. Sure, he plays armor and Nature's Villain went out, but ultimately he's a walking root. He's actually a pretty serious threat now. <laughs> he is a pretty serious threat here. As far as his damage output goes. And he's most certainly been doing his part for his team this game. Without Zion, the success he had early on, you know, I wonder if we'd even be at this point here. Forty-four hundred gold on Wretched Hag again, so continuing to farm. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, obviously, the, if anything, T Lion Esports Club, the first time they got the token, they just uh, got caught in a fight that they were not ready to fight, really. So I'm sure, if anything, they're just trying to keep the lanes pushed back and try to get some kind of pick. But State Green, or not State Green, but uh, TBUSA is doing a great job of playing smart with that. And uh, I, I assume we're going to be waiting for our next Conqueror here, ultimately, before Lion Esports Club makes another move. But and up until then, Team USA will gladly just sit back, push back out the lanes, and continue to farm. So again, it's, it's a, it'll pretty much be the case throughout this whole game when it comes to Team Fight. Team USA definitely has the advantage there. <laughs> Especially if they can get everything working together, so. And they feel confident they can hold, but Congo should be coming up here in the near future now. I think in the next at least two minutes here. Did Hag... What did Hag go? Did Hag go to Nullstone? Interesting. Hag goes to Nullstone. It, actually, it does make sense, you know. It does prevent uh, demonic execution being used, or the sheep sticks, really. So there's definitely some worthy points of getting that. Now, it does mean he goes that instead of something like a Savage Maze, it's more of a damage threat. But you, you got plenty of damage, really, from Master of Arms, I think, already, anyways. And you got good burst, anyways, from your team, so... Yeah, I kind of see where P was thinking there. Top lane, and here we go! The jump! The Sheepstick got a sword, but it started off. Sheepstick got a low set as well, but the Shadow Storm hits Barry Auto comes up. Sorry for still alive, though. He's taking low, so I'm gonna go back in. We see the foreground keeper of the force putting in right clicks. He's doing some good damage. Wretched Hag, the second root comes out, but the Geometer's Pain gonna be as a keeper of the force will end up falling. Everyone's still up here for the Hellborn team, and Team USA needs to start falling back. Keeper of the force is already dead. Sheepstick on a Magmus right here. He's being chased back. Wretched Hag is low. She knows it. Oh, nice setting from Magmus, but Hag. Is going to be fine, it looks like. They will continue to chase. Magnus has a steam bath. Can he get it off? Doesn't matter. He falls right there. So him and Keeper fall. And Lion Esports Club, everyone stays alive. They save the racks. And they hold at their base. So Team USA thought they had an opening there. Tried to push in. Did not work out in the end. I don't even think that was just a huge overextension by any means. That was just simply, you know, this is, this is a farmed, farmed, farmed Lion Esports team right now. <laughs> That definitely showed right there in that fight, so. The double root still wasn't enough from Keeper. He was doing some good damage. I mean, Hag nearly fell. But the jump onto Sorry Reaper as well, I think it was a big start for Lions. So obviously, Lowe still led the way. He ended up getting sheeved himself. But the Shadow Storm still went off. It hit Sorry Reaper, forced him to play very defensive from the beginning. And usually, as that Sorry Reaper, you want to be on those front lines taking the damage. Not able to do that there. It's a Frostfield plate. Congo is going to end up falling here now in favor of Lion Esports Club. And that's just, it's just bananas, for, or just Token, right? Yeah. Token going to be on Master of Arms, actually. And even more gold now on the side of uh, of Lion Esports Club. This Today, man, we've had some pretty crazy series coming at you. The first series of Stay Green and Excellence. Stay Green taking that two games to one. Pretty epic series. Here we are in game one of the Winter Bracket Finals. We got Lions versus Team USA, and currently Lions continues to have that lead, but Team USA has made some points that this game is not as far from over in their minds. <laughs> when it comes down to it, Team 5 definitely have that. Staff of the Master, again, on Soul Reaper. 
that's what he ultimately chooses to go for, which with that glowstone assumes him. May, I, it could, doesn't have to be. It could be a frost skull. I guess it wouldn't be a uh, horrible pickup, but. I wonder if Staff is really though, the best choice in the end. I'm trying to think. Oh no. I think Rossfield Blade, but what do I know? Restoration Stone Wretched Hag. Really? That is amazing. What did he sell? He sold a Geometer's Paint. Interesting. So, uh, interesting. So the point of the Geometer's Paint was really as a, an, another escape mechanism. Obviously a little bit of damage and whatnot too. He's not agility focused though, so he doesn't get as much from it as an agility or would like the Master of Arms. So he basically says, you know, I'm fine selling this. The main purpose of it was to get out of a second route. With a Restoration Stone, I can do that anyways. But this also allows him to have a double ultimate, which 500 plus the 300. So you're looking at, uh, he needs 1300 mana for a, a double ultimate, really, on top of his other abilities. He has 2400 mana, so they, yeah, he should be more than fine as far as uh, being able to use that even with using other abilities. Wow, though, like, a Restoration Stone Wretched Hag. So yeah, they, they don't need him to be a really hard carry in the sense of right clicks. Again, they got Master of Arms for that. So it kind of opens up the door for him to do something like this. Oh, this is a trap. This is a trap right here. Ophelia and Master of Arms. Master of Arms is going to be spotted. Nice Magnus stun right there, but he's going to get a shoot. The Bat Plus comes out. Magnus is dropping. Restoration Stone not used to stand on to Wretched Hag, but in the background, they get the kill. On to Engineer. Looks like Energy Field is down. Now Master of Arms locked down. He's going to come back up with the token of life. Wretched Hag, he Resto Stone. He's going to go. Already Bat Plus again. The second route comes out. Low Stone locked down, but the damage from Master of Arms and Wretched Hag is a lot right here. Storm Spirit on his, onto uh, a Soul Reaper right there. He ends up getting ported out. Keeper of the Force now, though. Probably gonna end up falling. Demonic Breastplate Brutalizer, not enough. He goes down. Three players are dead for Team USA. They got loads on a Pyromancer. It might be a fourth here. Ophelia is gonna go for the TP. Yep, he will get it actually. So Ophelia TPs out, so this ends up being all the three. And again, a good port back on the story for at least. But a one fight by Lion Esports Club there at the end. They did get the token use a master. But we got to see uh, that Restoration Stone come into play also on top of the Sheep Stick, the Double Sheep even. Yeah, that's a fun pick up there. That's a fun pick up there. Coming out from uh, Wretched Hag. Ooh, there you go. That's that's so sorry for making a point right there. That's what he's going for. Actually sells the Glowstone and ends up going in Axe of the Malphite. So it's almost as if he was just buying a glowstone for stats to kind of think of what he wanted for. Because, <laughs> yeah, again, the more I thought about it, the staff of the mass, I don't know if that's... That seems like more of an earlier game item, if anything. Like, to get that as, like, your last item in your inventory it just seems a little odd. I don't hear, like, sorry for at least. If you were facing against a really tanky hero, then sure. But, yeah, you're not really dealing with that necessarily, so... Uh, going the Axe of the Malphite, speaking of tanky, he's trying to do that himself. And there's a lot of magic damage, especially with our Restoration Stone. Wretched Hag now. So I know I keep joking about the Frost with Skull, so... This game, I actually do like the Behemoth's Heart better, mainly because of that reason. There's still a lot of magic damage that you're dealing with. Where do you think you're going? Especially with how Wretched Hag has kind of transitioned his build, almost. <laughs> Speaking of hack, holy crap, PB has another 6,200 gold saved up. Jesus. Ice Brain just purchased by uh, Master of Arms. So he's going to have a Frost of Skull in the making here. He has Post Ace as well, so that opens up a slot for him. Assume that's a Shrunken Head being made by Parasite. He has 4,400 gold actually, so he has more than enough for it. Just a lot of gold being pulled up all over the place. Another 7,000 on Hag. No buybacks used either. No buybacks have been used by either team. That's a little bit surprising for the way this game has been. We're now getting up to an hour mark. I don't know if I've ever seen an hour game that's had no buybacks used. That's actually pretty crazy. And it's not like it's been because it's just slow. I mean, it's not the fastest game by any means, but it's it's a it's a it's a general game really. I mean, we have 16 kills on the lead side, 26 on the Hoborn side, so we're looking at a fairly good amount of kills. What was that quick math? 42 kills. So. But 
it is what it is. Behemoth started his finish on Soul Reaper, 3,500 life on him. On top of the 18 and a half armor. You're getting maxed out over here on both sides, really, of course. Shrunken Head finished on Parasite. Barbed armor lows are always a very, very dangerous uh, to go up against, especially when he activates after the Shadow Storm runs off. And it's exposed. And uh, I don't know if I, I guess I didn't catch that, but I guess Sword Reaper might have used his ultimate into it earlier. And that's something to keep an eye out for, because that's just a hero in general, too. You might not even want to waste it all. But, anyways, we have an issue. He's speaking low, so he tries to jump in. He couldn't get anything off, though. But the Barbed armor goes out in the background. Parasite is there. Low Stone is going to end up falling. Double Root comes out. He gets off, though. The Shadow Storm explosion still happens. Master Vars the front line. Wretched Knight comes in, the double bat blast in the face of the Legion team right there. Sheepstick is still not used, by the way. He still has to use the Sheepstick. Pee Wee falling back, he comes back in. Master of Arms be locked down. There's the Sheepstick, but Master of Arms falls, and the Legion team is pushing in. Team USA, they might have just break it through line. Esports Club right here, buyback from Master of Arms. The first buyback used of the game, but the melee rack is going to fall right here. And Parasite and Blosa do not have buybacks. They do not have the gold for it. Even with 1,800 to 1,400 gold, they do not have the gold for it here at this point. Middle tower is now dropping as well. Wow. That jump. The, the jump. They're kind of fighting Hellborn uphill tower. right here. Not the best position for the Hellborn team to be fighting in. They force that fight. Usually we a talk Hellborn about the team that's pushing over extending right there. I think that was Line Esports Club overextending big time. Lost on the jump again. Didn't, the didn't work either. And all of a sudden, tower. is this going to be Mega Creeps? It's gonna be Mega Creeps! Lion Esports Club just fell apart all of a sudden. Team USA, they get Mega Creeps spawned, and that could, that's probably game. <laughs> that is probably game right there, unless some miraculous, amazing, unbelievable comeback from Lion Esports Club. And there's a vote you can see it, in fact. GG's are being called. Wow! The game just ended like that. I cannot believe it. Team USA, they, they are the ones that be aggressive. I mean, Lions, they were not able to use a token the best either. All three, all the two times that they got it, that definitely hurt them. And they farmed a ton. I mean, hell, Retronach finished the game with 6,800 gold saved up and two buybacks. But Team USA, they push in the end. Again, the team fight still stood all the way to the very end. And they end up winning it. When it came down, I, you look at the team latch, you look at how...